Hey everyone, welcome to this 360 in 360. Been a while since I've done one of these. And really my goal is to quickly address, actually quite a few people have asked about this thing called Azure Peering. And what exactly is Azure Peering? Is it related to Express Route? So I thought a really quick video, we could just kind of uh, tidy this up. As always, if this is useful, please go ahead and give this kind of a like, subscribe, comment, and share. Now actually in the video I just did before this one, I'll kind of link it up there, I talked about route preference. And we talked about the idea that, well, there's this great big Microsoft Backbone Network. And on that Microsoft Backbone Network, we connect to kind of all the different Azure regions throughout the world. And that's for kind of Azure services. But also we can think about things like Microsoft 365, Dynamics 365, with all of those Microsoft solutions. And then there's kind of your location, and you're going to use an ISP, a service provider. And again, this is not related to private connectivity. This is about things going over the internet. And so we kind of draw the orange line for the ISP's connectivity. Maybe you have redundant connections. And that ISP kind of has their own network as well. And we have the points where the Microsoft Backbone Network connects to ISPs, i.e. the internet. The internet is just a bunch of ISP networks connected together. And they connect together at these kind of carrier neutral facilities. So Azure connects to hundreds of these edge, these points of presence locations, where essentially Azure extends its network into. And then what happens is the various ISPs also go and have connectivity into kind of these various points of presence. Maybe not all of them, some of them it will go and connect to. And so what Azure Peering is all about is the quality of that internet-based service from your ISP. Because potentially, hey, my ISP may have this very convoluted route before it actually gets to one of these carrier neutral facilities where it can connect to the Microsoft backbone and get to Microsoft 365 or Dynamics 365 or the Azure internet facing services. So to avoid that, Azure Peering is about a partnership between Microsoft and these selected ISPs that essentially guarantees you're a single hop away from that onboarding to the Microsoft Backbone Network. So if you sign up for Azure Peering, and the sign up is actually with your ISP. So the kind of the Azure Peering is really nothing to do with Microsoft. It's a service that your ISP, you will onboard to it through your ISP. Now, there's, there's one um, exception to that, where you would also sign into kind of Azure is there is also the idea of in the Azure portal, you can sign up for the Azure peering as well. If you want kind of enhanced latency detection and kind of if you see a degradation in your performance and also alerting around, for example, if there's a BGP pollution attempt, maybe someone's trying to do something weird um, with the routes that are advertised to try and maybe hijack the connection. And so you, at basic level, it's that you sign up with your ISP. Those that are offering it, what will happen is now, they will actually create this arrangement and this, this routing with Microsoft, and that routing will now be kind of set in stone. As soon as you sign up for this Azure Peering with the ISP, the route your traffic will take is now defined. If someone tried to do something like change the route, um, BGP pollution, it won't stick is now protected. And in fact, Microsoft has this whole routing anomaly detection and auto remediation radar feature to detect if people are trying to mess with the routes on the internet to the services and resolve against that. But what Azure Peering is gonna do is when you sign up with one of these ISPs that offer the service, you're guaranteed to just be one hop away from one of these backbones that actually connect to the Microsoft network to get to those various services. Now. Some of the ISPs will offer a kind of a local redundancy. They have to have kind of at least two routers uh, to connect to a particular kind of Metroplex. Some of them will have geo redundancy where let's say, hey, I'm here and this one's down. They also have connection to another one and they will route the traffic um, 
another path, whichever is kind of the least latency. It will get the traffic onto the Microsoft network as quick as possible, cold potato. Uh, the Microsoft network is the preference, and it will stay on the Microsoft network as long as possible and then offload at the point closest to you. So again, that's that cold potato that I talked about in the previous video when we talked about routing preference. So Azure peering is nothing to do with Express Route. It is not private peering. It is not Microsoft peering. It is not a private connection. Azure peering, and I think the name's a little bit off, is about via your ISP signing up for kind of the premium internet-based experience for connectivity to Microsoft services, be it Azure or Microsoft 365 or Dynamics 365. We can additionally sign up to the portal if we want kind of latency, degradation in performance, BGP pollution attempts. That will actually go to a log analytics workspace where I can see kind of the monitoring, I can see the alerting, etc. So that's Azure Peering. Just about, hey, for those internet-based services, getting the best possible experience um, via those partners. And I'll drop a link in the description to the list of the partners. So you can go and check that out. I hope this was useful. Uh, until next time, take care.